I'm not sure how much space this is going to continue recording. It's 11.21 on April 8th, 2022. Just put in the vegan avocado mayo to open up the can of tahini. Nowadays, you have to use a can opener. One time, it used to, I believe, have a little lip thing. Oh, man, so... It's been pretty good these years, you know, the, the way this tahini, oh god, behaves, it doesn't get stuck at the bottom of it, like it used to at one point, or when I was first starting out as a vegan, there was a tendency where the tahini would get stuck at the bottom of the tin when purchasing this one product, but that's not the case anymore, regularly speaking. successfully removed the lid. Still recording? Good. <laughs> so. I see a little bit of water from my hand got on there to wipe it down. <laughs> I should have used the spoon. Artists credit. <laughs> it's fine. Nothing on there. Parts per trillion. Concilium. <laughs> Parts per trillion. All right. I use it quite quickly, anyways, in my recipes. Use it frequently. That's about enough, about a level, a uh, slight heaping tablespoon or uh, that's about two tablespoons worth I used. <laughs> it's okay. There's a lot of pasta there to cover. I have to wipe that down. So. Recording good. Okay. So, to my best of my ability, that's fine. 
I really should have cut the garlic first. Usually I do that, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I use garlic in my recipes, like every single recipe anyways. When using these ingredients. Okay. One. Mm -hmm. No one in my family is allergic to sesame seeds, and we're not currently inviting any strangers over. And if we were, I would, but I would remember that I used tahini the other day, <laughs> which would be tonight. And I just touched the plates after touching the tahini. I know some people have an issue with sesame. I know that. Just like uh, peanut allergies. Some allergies go away after people become a vegan for quite some time. They become less sensitive to things that are vegan that they were once allergic to when they weren't vegan. But that's, uh, I'm not going to reference where I heard that from, but there was um, a celebrity that I heard that, uh, you know, talk about something like that regarding that topic, exactly the way I just, just described it. I've heard uh, more than just one person talk about that with those type of results. I, myself, um, was one time sensitive to some things that like kiwis for instance when i was a kid i was sensitive to kiwis i'd get like an itchy throat from them but then after being vegan for a while i was able to eat them without any issue so i mean they're obviously vegan too so. but dairy i can't eat dairy i tried reintroducing dairy years ago when i six months into being a vegan i tried about one milligram of milk chocolate and it's a problem so I mean I had it I it was the determinant of the issues I was having six months prior to being a vegan where they had disappeared once I was a vegan once I became a vegan for quite some time the other symptoms disappeared
I hate having no tissues in here. It's not very nice. Break. Let's see if I got it. Some dry, clean cloths in here. 